This is the Trini Takeover Show. I'm Trini, and today we're going to meet Laura. She's 31. Since she was 13, she's had alopecia, and she's a curvy woman. She's starting a new job, and she's thinking, how can I dress so the wig doesn't have to be the final completion of an outfit? How can I feel when I wake up in the morning that if I choose to go wig-free, I've got the right wardrobe and confidence to do it? So let's go and meet Laura and see how we can help her. Hello, darling. Come on in the cab. You're 31. Yes. And was it during lockdown that you thought, who do I want to be? 100%. Yeah. yeah. I, I had worn a wig since I was 14. I uh, never told anyone if I could about my alopecia. I was very ashamed of it. Agonised, worrying about the wig on my head. When you're a wig wearer, the yeah. worst thing is the idea that you could be de-wigged. And then I started sharing my story on Instagram and I met lots of other bald, happy, healthy people. And yeah. I thought, actually, maybe I don't need to chuck the wig on every time. So it's a slow process. I'd say bandana is my happy place at the moment, but it limits me when I want to like dress up and look good, yeah. you know? I want to just talk about you and your shape and how feminine or masculine you're, what you're drawn to, because hair for lots of people is an element of a more feminine type of way. Yeah, every time I've been a wedding guest, I have to put a wig on because I feel like yeah. it's not a complete outfit. Yeah. I feel naked on top. When we all want icons or we want images of people that we are inspired by, mm -hmm. there's less identification for you. There are more and more bald women doing modeling, which is great, and yeah. I love that, and I feel represented to that extent. Yeah. But it's a hierarchy of diversity because yeah. there's not overweight, happy, healthy, bald oh, yeah, And if, if it doesn't exist, I'm gonna have to be it. I want people to look at me. I want people to look at my bald head and think, wow, that's a choice. Like, yes. can I ask you what scares you the most about today? Okay, I guess my biggest worry of today is, even if you work your magic and make me look fabulous, what if I still feel the same? Okay, so you are looking today for an emotional shift. 100%. All right. Let's go. Now we have the five minute challenge. Laura, you have five minutes in which to find outfits for work, outfits for going out, then I'll meet you back here and see what you've got. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. No, 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 no. That is a cool coat. Okay, I'm gonna do outfit for work. Love that shirt. Can't do that. I love that coat. No, 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 no. Already we have half an outfit. There is no way I could pull that off. I'm also going to get one for myself. And what about a sort of sexy moment? Always dress for the woman you are today, not for the woman that you want to be in terms of your size. I can't find sizes, let's see if they have my size. 18, come on. Do they have my size? Oh God, do I have to think about shoes? I don't know, kinky boots, whatever. Okay, well, she has great legs. I, that's all I have to say about that. When you're very broad shoulder, double-breasted can make you look SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh well, I have long coats. There's so many possibilities until we get in the change room. Orange is in, pumpkin spice. Are you ready, Laura? Oh, it's a dress. Laura? I don't know what this clueless vibe is or president's wife. Laura! Are you ready? No, I'm not. Because <laughs> it's been five minutes, you have to be ready, so come on. Okay. I may right. have no trousers, so I may be Winnie the Poohing, I'm sorry. That's fine, Winnie the Pooh was one of my favorites. Love the shape, no, I love okay. the shape. For yeah. work, I thought that was a jumper, but it's a dress, then I got a shumper. Um, love the color. I love cobalt blue. Yeah, oh, but it's matching first. together. Love Let's that. go, come on. So many people say, Trin, you have great arms. This is why. Yeah. Okay, Laura. Yeah. Come on out. Okay. Woo! Come now. Okay. Oh my lord. <laughs> That's not covering my boobs. Like. Oh, sorry. Do you want to be a nun? Because I don't even see cleavage. All I see is like the beginning of a mound. I don't think I've worn sequins since I was five. Bandana on or off? No, take it off. Yeah. Okay. Take it off. Take it off. I also want to look at. Shape of glasses for you. Like that, just over your shoulder. Like oh, embrace, I love it when you do that. Embrace yeah. the broad shoulder. Walk away from me and then turn around. Okay, that's like. I'm a pimp. You are the best pimp. When you channel a really strong color, mm -hmm. if you go bare faced, 
and you haven't got hair, mm. you can't put your face in front of the outfit. Yes. So makeup helps you put your face in front of the outfit. So I've got Empress and I've got Fortune. Beautiful comes together, brings out the green of your eyes, but doesn't mush with the outfit. Then you need quite a strong blusher, Yossi, on your lips and put a tiny bit on your cheeks and put a tiny bit on your lip. And then on top, bring out a bit of shimmer and that brings out the glamour. And this colour is very good for the flex in the green in your eyes to make your green eyes actually pop more. Okay, next outfit. We're starting well. High five. Laura looks so much better without the bandana because the bandana were mushy, dull colours. I just have to say to your face, with the bandana on, you were slightly old fashioned and hidden away. And now I've seen the character of you. It's really interesting, this journey. I'm loving it. Darling, before you come out, can you put your wig on? I mean, it probably needs a brush. <laughs> it's red. That, I mean, that surprises me. So why do you choose red? And when I'm wearing makeup, Auburn seems to really bring out the green in my eyes. Having met you, mm -hmm. wearing a bandana and seeing you bald as well, mm -hmm. it's like this is meeting a different person now. They're all different people. Yeah, well, Laura in this dress is not a confident Laura. But can I just say, this is very, very difficult for you yeah. to come out and see a figure that's been hugged by a dress. Now, take off the wig. Okay. Right, so. You're so powerful in this, and you're more powerful in this um, without your wig on. Next outfit. Okay. In you go. When Trini asked me to put the wig on, it felt a bit weird. I've seen the bandana Laura, I've seen hair free Laura, and I've seen wig Laura. Her response to me wearing a wig for the first time, she was like, because it was like it was a different person. I was like, I like bald Laura more today. It was so much more powerful when she took it off. Laura. Oh. Just gonna do that there on the boob. Oh, yeah. And if you do in front, you pull in. Oh, yeah. And you get those puppies playing with one another in the most flattering way. You know what I think? This is a key thing. And this happens whether you have hair or not, oddly. When the neckline is away from the neck, all the color of the fabric comes from here. So it frames your face. This doesn't frame your face. Yeah. And you're hair free. So even more, you need stuff to frame your face. Yeah. So let's try it with the wig on. So, interesting. It's like I don't know who you are anymore. It's, but I also feel the dress now suits you better. How do you think when you're flirting with men in your life, what is the thing that gives you the most confidence to present to be that kind of woman? To be seen as attractive, mm -hmm. it is deep grained within me to think that I need to present as fertile, hairy Laura. Big flowing hair means fertility, and apparently that's what men want. But, but when did you make the association that big flowing hair means fertility? Because of society, it's not a choice. And I think powerful, which you've been presenting me as, yeah. is something I really want, but I don't think I pair that with beautiful. I would like the two to come together. Because when I am bald, I have to put my armor on and the clothes today have helped me do that and they're making me feel a bit more like, yeah, fuck it. Like, okay. So do you feel that it's better somebody gets to know you before you reveal that element of yourself? That's how I've treated every relationship to okay. date. I've always treated the fact that I wear a wig as like a dirty secret that I have to reveal to someone once they've gained my trust. So going into a relationship, you have this added burden yes. of thinking about that all the time in the back of your mind. Mm -hmm. So you know how you could stop thinking about that all the time. Ditch the wig. Kind of. By the way, that it's not should I be powerful or beautiful because there's a tremendous beauty in mm. a powerful woman. Mm. Never forget that. I love this. <laughs> I so love this morning with you. Laura is such an engaging personality that it's easy to have a banter and have that lightness in our relationship. That was pretty deep. When you're meeting somebody new, which you do you present? And I have a lot to think about. If you present the one which isn't fully you, which is wig, Laura. The wig is just an extension of the outfit choice. That burden of waiting to know when you present hair-free Laura is such a weight to carry. It's about finding myself, like, because my personality shouldn't be changing depending on what I wear or what hair I have on. Hello. Hola, come out. I want to just change the tone this is called de-stress. It will actually de-stress your skin. But I want to just be able to put on a red lip. This is, potentially to me, day one at work. That's a lot of colour. Yeah, but I'm a bald woman, so why not make people look? Shall I tell you why flares work for you? You are top heavy. A kick flare and a kick flare skirt puts it back in proportion. It brings a width at the bottom to balance out your shoulder. It's literally a 10 out of 10 because it's like, it's you in an outfit. It's you, the person we've got to know today in an outfit. 
Okay. So whoever you were before, I don't give a shit because it's about today and the future. Back in the box. When I first came out of the box, I wasn't sure. Or I just thought, because I would never wear pink. And again, it's so much color, it's so much pattern, but it kind of works. That outfit to me, that was a 10. Trini's right, like I need to balance out my figure. The colors are strong, the pattern is strong, the shape is good, her body looks good. She's present, I want to get to know her better. And that's what an outfit should do. That was pretty good at River Island. What can I just say? Ch-ch-ch-ch-changes! I'm with Laura, she is changing! It's so exciting, I can't wait to see Ch-ch-ch-changes! Come on, my best friend! Changes! Now in the makeup and skincare studio. So, we're going to look at this. Not just this, okay. I sent you some things before, so still do it. I feel your skin has had some benefit from it already because mm -hmm. there's smoothness there. So be your best balm cleanser, mm -hmm. works really well. Okay. Tip and PHA, you have some eczema, so I don't want to give you a hard acid because eczema is a dry skin condition. So putting in lots of peptides is very good. You love bounce back, it's mm. just amazing. But Plump Up has even more peptides. It helps to kind of give a kick ass, kick up the ass to collagen and elastane. And if you have healthy collagen and elastane production, mm -hmm. it will help your eczema. Will you stick to it? I will. Good, so now I'm gonna let you do makeup with John. Yes. yes. Laura, what are the main three top tips that you wanna get from me today? I want to match the skin tone on my face mm -hmm. to the skin tone on my scalp, because mm -hmm. I'm gonna be getting it out more. Okay. And actually, I want a really like great eye look to mm -hmm. really accentuate my eyes. Mm -hmm. You do your own brows in a really interesting way. Show the guys what you do, it's amazing. Okay, so they're called eyebrow transfers. This is where you're gonna tell me I'm not matching it. They're not twins, they just have to be sisters. Sister. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Looks straight at me, babe. Perfect. So the first tip I'm using is highlighter, which goes under the foundation. So this will give you your skin a little bit more luminosity. It will freshen up the skin and it will make the skin look more glowy and fresh. So second tip, we are going in with BFF Rebalance. This is a soft matte focus. So we're gonna focus this on the face, neck and head as well, okay? I start in the middle and I just start to push everything. Now I'm just working the product around the brow, just removing any of that redness. Third tip is creating a really simple, soft, smoky eye using three eye-to-eye -eye shades. First base color is Empress. Second color is for depth using Strength. Third color is the beautiful Italic in Harmonia. Wow! <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready, you ready. It's reveal time! One minute. I want Trini to show me that I can find an outfit that will make me feel powerful without wearing a wig. Because I've only ever known Laura as she started to embrace not wearing her wig. So she's definitely hidden that, I think, before in the past. If she hears people whispering or saying things, I don't automatically think it's about her. So I think that's a massive journey. And if they were speaking about her, then she wouldn't care and she'd be more likely to educate someone um, rather than get upset or kind of run away from it. Don't look now, don't look now, just, just have the confidence. I have not memorized this office layout. I know, it's fine, don't worry, keep walking straight. Okay, take a deep breath. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now you can open your eyes. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. You don't that now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I look like I should be co-hosting a show with you. <laughs> you so got that <laughs> one, you got me a better response than that. How do you feel looking in your reflection and seeing that woman stare back at you? Yeah, like I don't recognise myself. And I think with this outfit, I mean, I am asking people to look at me for all the right reasons. You are. Do you want to see what some members of your family and friends are going to Go on say? then. Oh, oh bless you. <laughs> Making a scene. You look amazing. Thank you. How does Laura feel in terms of representing what she is inside that you know very well? I think, you, yeah, you've been on such a journey. I've never seen this much colour on you in one go. Look at these. <laughs> um, <laughs> just knowing how much it means to you and how much it's going to mean to everybody that looks like you that's going to see this. Um, and that's incredible that you've put yourself forward for this. What would you tell a 13-year-old girl who discovered that she had alopecia? It's going to be OK. In fact, it's going to be fabulous. <laughs> far exceeded our goal because we have a woman who can go anywhere, who feels incredibly empowered, who looks fabulous and who's 
character, joy, and passion for life shines through. Yeah, well, yes. thank you for coming. Well thank done. You. you look powerful. Yeah. <laughs> and look, the superstar you are. Own it. And stay like it. <laughs> don't get back in. Yeah, the don't get back in the box. <laughs> I really want to drink this, but I really don't because I don't want to ruin the beautiful lipstick. <laughs> Oh my god, my feet!